Hi friends, I want to show you a perfect method with which you can solve this question without the help of a calculator. We are to calculate the length of the red line. It is referring to this line segment BO. We have the length of this line BC to be 15 meters. The length of this side CD is also 15 meters. Here, this side AD is 24 meters. This point O is the center of the circle. So how can we solve this? How can we calculate the length of this segment BO? It is very simple. Since we aren't going to use a calculator, we need to make everything here in its simplest form. I want you to look at these numbers. 15, 15 and 24, they have a common factor, that is 3, because 15 is 3 times 5, and 24 is 3 times 8. Let's assume A equal to 3, and substitute it here. So this is 15 A meters, and this is 8 A meters. Now A is a constant. We assume A meters is the units. Now look at this triangle BCD. We have the length of this side to be 5 A meters. And this is also 5 A meters. That is, the triangle is an isosceles triangle. In an isosceles triangle, we know the angles facing the congruent sides are also equal. That is, this angle and this are equal. So if you assume the size of this to be n, this must also be n. Now let's do something. Assume the layer of this side to be 5x a meters. Don't forget, a meters is the assumed unit, so it is a constant. Now on this line, let's extend it until it touches the circumference. Call this point P. Now look at this angle ABP and this angle N. They both are formed by two straight lines intersecting. That is, they are vertically opposite angles. So since this is N, this must also be N. Now let's assume the line of this side to be 5Y A meters. Here, draw a code AP. Look at this angle BAP and this angle CDP. They both are subtended by this arc CP. We know the angle subtended by an arc to any point on the circumference is equal. That is, this angle and this are congruent. So since this is N, this must also be N. Now look at this triangle. We have two of its angles to be congruent. That is, it is an isosceles triangle. The sides facing the congruent angles we know are equal. That is, this side and this are congruent. So since this is 5y a meters in length, this must also be 5y a meters. Now look at this line DP. It passes through this point, which is the center of the circle. That is, it is a diameter. The length of the diameter is the sum of this 5x a meters and this 5y a meters. So d equal to 5x a meters plus 5y a meters. From here, 5a meters is common. We factor it out. So it is 5a meters into bracket x plus y. Now, diameter we know is 2 radii. So 2r equal to 5a meters into bracket x plus y. Divide both sides by 2. Here 2 cancels 2. While here, I'll say this 5 divided by this 2 is 2.5. That is, the radius of this cycle is 2.5a meters into bracket x plus y. Now we know from this center to this point is a radius. It is divided into this line BO, which is the red line in question.
and this line BP which is 5YA meters in length so if you subtract 5YA meters from the length of the radius would be left with the length of this line BO so red line equal to 2.5A meters into bracket X plus Y minus 5YA meters this 5 is the same as 2 times 2.5 from 2.5 a meters into bracket x plus y minus 2y times 2.5 a meters 2.5 a meters is common we factor it out so it is 2.5 a meters into bracket x plus y minus 2y y minus 2y is minus y so it is 2.5 a meters into bracket x minus y therefore red line equal to 2.5 a meters into bracket x minus y now here we see this angle is subtended by this diameter to the circumference and we know the angle subtended by the diameter to the circumference is a right angle so this angle is a right angle let's look at this triangle ADP it is a right angle triangle this is the hardness by Pythagoras the square of the sum of this 5x and this 5y must be equal to the sum of the squares of this 5y and this 8. So 5x plus 5y all squared equal to 5y all squared plus 8 squared. 8 squared is 64. 5y all squared is 25y squared. Here 5x plus 5y all squared is 5x plus 5y times 5x plus 5y which is 5x times 5x plus 5y plus 5y times 5x plus 5y 5x times 5x plus 5y is 25x squared plus 25xy 5y times 5x plus 5y is 25xy plus 25y squared 25xy plus 25xy is 50xy so 25x squared plus 50xy plus 25y squared equal to 25y squared plus 64 this 25y squared on the left will eliminate this 25y squared on the right. So 25x squared plus 50xy equal to 64. 50 is the same as 25 times 2. From 25x squared plus 25 times 2xy, 25 is common. If we factor it out, it is 25 into bracket x squared plus 2xy. Now we divide both sides of the equation by 25. Here, 25 cancels 25 so x squared plus 2xy equal to 64 over 25 we keep it aside come here look at this triangle and this triangle both are isosceles triangle with based angle n that is they are similar so if we take the ratio of their sides this side facing angle n divided by this side let's say z must be equal to this side also facing angle n divided by this side so 5y over z equal to 5 over 5x here 5 over 5x is 1 over x so 5y over z equal to 1 over x if we take the reciprocal of both sides it is z over 5y equal to x Multiply both sides by 5y. Here, 5y cancels 5y. While here, x times 5y is 5xy. So, z equal to 5xy. That is, the law of this side is 5xy a meters. Now, come here. Draw a code CP. Look at this angle and this angle. They are both subtended by this arc. That is, they are congruent if we let this angle be m this must also be m the same is for this angle and this angle here they are subtended by this arc so if we let this be s this must also be s now look at this triangle and this triangle they both have an angle s and an angle m that is they are similar so if we take the ratio of their sides 
this side facing angle S divided by this side CV must be equal to this side also facing angle S divided by this side. So 5 over V equal to 5X over 8. This 5 cancels this 5. So 1 over V equal to X over 8. If we take the reciprocal of both sides, it is V equal to 8 over X. That is, the line of this side is 8 A meters over X. Now look at this quadrilateral ADCP. All its vertices are on the circumference of the circle. That is, it is a cyclic quadrilateral. This line AC and this line DP are its diagonal. There is the Ptolemy's theorem, which states that the sum of the product of the two pairs of opposite sides of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the product of its diagonals. That is, the sum of the product of this side and this and this and this must be equal to the product of the length of this diagonal multiplied by this. So 8 over x times 8 plus 5y times 5 equal to 5 plus 5xy multiplied by 5y plus 5x. 8 over x times 8 is 64 over x. 5y times 5 is 25y. 5 plus 5xy times 5y plus 5x is 5 times 5y plus 5x plus 5xy times 5y plus 5x. 5 times 5y plus 5x is 25y plus 25x. Here, 5y plus 5x, we just factor out 5. So it is 5 into bracket y plus x. Let's say x plus y rather. 5xy times 5 is 25xy. Now this 25y on the left will eliminate this on the right. So 64 over x equal to 25x plus 25xy into bracket x plus y. Here also, we can factor out 25. So it is 25 into bracket x plus xy into bracket x plus y. Now multiply both sides of the equation by x. Here x cancels x. So 64 equal to 25x into bracket x plus xy close bracket x plus y. Divide both sides by 25. Here 25 cancels 25. So 64 over 25 equal to x into bracket x plus xy into bracket x plus y. Now recall here x squared plus 2xy equal to 64. And here we have the value of 64 over 25 in terms of x and y to be x into bracket x plus xy into bracket x plus y. We substitute it here. So x squared plus 2xy equal to x into bracket x plus xy into bracket x plus y. Here x is common. If we factor it out, it is x into bracket x plus 2y. This x on the left will eliminate this on the right. So x plus 2y equal to x plus xy into bracket x plus y. This x will eliminate this x. So 2y equal to xy into bracket x plus y. Again, this y will cancel this y. So 2 equal to x into bracket x plus y. x into bracket x plus y is x squared plus xy. We come back to our first equation. x squared plus 2xy equal to 64 over 25. Subtract this equation from this. x squared minus x squared is 0. 2xy minus xy is xy. 64 over 25 minus 2 is 64 minus 2 times 25, which is 50 all over 25. 64 minus 50 is 14. So xy equal to 14 over 25. Substitute it here. x squared plus 2 times 14 over 25 equal to 64 over 25. 2 times 14 all over 25 is 28 over 25. Take it to the right. 64 over 25 minus 28 over 25 is 36 over 25. So x squared equal to 36 over 25. Take the square root of both sides. Here, square root of x squared is x. While here, 
square root of 36 over 25 is 6 over 5. So x equal to 6 over 5. Substitute it here. 6 over 5 y equal to 14 over 25. This 25 divided by this 5 is 5. So 6y equal to 14 over 5. 2 into this 6 is 3. And 2 into 14 is 7. Divide both sides by 3. Here 3 cancels 3. While here 7 over 5 divided by 3 is 7 over 15. So y equal to 7 over 15. Now we have x equal to 6 over 5 and y equal to 7 over 15. Substitute it here. This 15 is 5 times 3. From 6 over 5 minus 7 over 5 times 3, we can factor out 1 over 5. So it is 1 over 5 into bracket 6 minus 7 over 3. 2.5 is 1 over 2 times 5. 5 times 1 over 5 is 1. 6 minus 7 over 3 is 18 minus 7 all over 3. 18 minus 7 is 11. Recall the value of a here is 3. Substitute it here. This 3 cancels this 3. 1 over 2 times 11 is 5.5. So red line equal to 5.5 meters. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, share and comment. And also turn on notifications. Thank you.